What's up? It's your girl Bree, back with another video. Look at me, I'm on an upload roll. So I don't wanna hear anything, okay? I don't wanna hear anything about where you been, Bree? I'm trying to be real productive, okay? I'm really trying to work on being consistent on my YouTube channel. And I think right now I got a little spark up under me, you know? Life-changing events make you have a little fire up under that ass. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve a nice, quick, smoky eyeliner. It's not super smoky, but it's smoky enough. And it's really, really easy. Even if this is not beginner level makeup, this is like intermediate level makeup. So I feel like a lot of you guys should be able to achieve this look. And I hope that this is helpful for you guys. I'm not gonna to talk too much because I wanna get this video started. So make sure you keep watching, but, but wait. Before you keep watching, what do you think I'm gonna say? Make sure you're subscribed. Don't play me, don't play yourself, okay? This is a safe place. We all like makeup, we're all makeup addicts here, so you're welcome. Join us, join us in the Makeup Addicts Club. Hi, I'm Brianna, I'm a makeup addict. What's your name? Nice to meet you. So now that you're here, now that you're subscribed, now that your notification bell is turned on, let's get into the video. First things first, we're gonna make sure the lips are not crusty and um, I got my Fenty Glass Slipper Gloss Balm. If you guys haven't seen my review on this, you should go and check it out, cause that's why. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, Lord. So, this is what life is like having a newborn. I'll be back. This is definitely not how I planned on doing this video today, but um, she's fussy. We're gonna continue anyway, because if I don't, I'm never gonna put a video up, okay? For today, we're gonna be using the Amrezi palette, and I'm not really gonna do like something super dramatic with this palette today, or am I? All right, all right. The first shade I'm gonna use is New Yorker. I'm using a really big fluffy brush to apply this all over the lid. And I love this shade. I think this shade is so pretty. She did a nice job picking these shades in this palette. Like I literally have no complaints. And there's a lot of kick up in the palette. So I feel like I'm going through this eyeshadow really fast. Next shade I'm gonna use is 1988. I'm keeping this brown shade on my mobile lid because I don't want it to come up too high. Now I'm gonna use this black eyeshadow called BK. So now I'm gonna use this like really close to the lash line. I kinda want it to have that like smoky look. So I'm not making it too precise. This is literally gonna be like the easiest smoky wing liner look. And I feel like this is the kind of look that I would go for if I was going out, like just going out to the club or going out on a date. Super easy, doesn't take very long to do. And you only need about three eyeshadows. I'm gonna go back into this shade here called 1988. And we're gonna blend this out just a little bit more right over the black, just so we can have like a really nice gradient. Now I'm gonna use a small angle brush with the black eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna flick out a little bit of a wing. I'm gonna go back in with a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna blend this out just a bit. My eyeshadow looks a little bit 
it looks a little off. It looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna use liquid eyeliner to make it really sharp and precise. So don't worry, okay, we still gonna be cute, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the skin. We're using our milk primer still. Y'all know this gets the job done. That's on period because y'all know y'all already know what I like. Milk primer. If you don't know, now you know. I'm gonna go for a dewy foundation today. So I'm gonna use my NYX Born to Glow in the shade Nutmeg. I use this foundation when I don't want my skin to be like way too over the top. I just like a natural look with this foundation. It's not gonna give you full coverage or anything like that, but it reminds me of like a NARS Sheer Glow, but a cheaper version. Doesn't provide too much coverage, but the shade range on this worked out really well for me. So that's another reason why I like this, um, because I struggle finding foundation shades. Literally everywhere I go, I cannot find a foundation shade. And the fact that NYX has one in the drugstore, that's cheap, we're winning, okay? Winning. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And do y'all notice how nice and yellow the undertone on this foundation is? Do y'all know how hard it is to find yellow toned foundations and olive toned foundations in the drugstore? Like, do y'all know? It's really difficult to find that. Now I'm gonna use my concealer from Oma Beauty and I have the shade Bronze Venus T3. I don't really use this concealer too much because I think I picked the wrong shade. I think it's a little bit too, it's a little too yellow. I don't know why I haven't used this concealer. I need to stop playing with my life. This concealer blends out so nice and easy. I love that. I filmed an entire video on Oma Beauty and this is the only product that I ended up keeping, I feel like, oh no, no, no. This is not the only product I kept. I had a lipstick, I have a lipstick as well from them that I really, really like. Their matte lipsticks are amazing. But I tried their foundation, I tried their contour stick, the concealer, and out of everything that I tried, I only ended up keeping the concealer and the lipstick because I felt like the foundation just was not the right shade. It was super orange on me. The contour stick was way too, it was, it was overpriced for what it was. And the lipstick was, the lipstick is amazing. But you know, I was hoping that this brand would come out with some different shades because some of the shades are a little off. A little, they're a little wonky. Gonna set my under eye using my Beauty Bakery flower powder in the shade Plantain. Make sure that under eye is nice and bright. Yes. Get the middle of that forehead, down the nose, smile lines. Mm-hmm. Ooh, my face is looking kind of yellow. I'm gonna contour now using the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Medium. And I just wanna have a little bit of snatch on these cheeks. And I'll create a little bit of definition, you know. And I'm being light-handed with this product. I'm not gonna go too hard. And this product blends out really, really nice. You can use it as a contour and a bronzer, hence the name Tantor, you know? I think a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of black women don't really like Huda Beauty which is super understandable because that girl, she was she was struggling to post black people on her page for a very, very long time. So I can understand why people don't really fool with that. Somehow or another, I ended up buying her stuff and I ended up liking it. So that's, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna use Fenty Coco Naughty Bronzer. And I really wanna be like kind of extra today with the bronzer. For some reason, I just wanna, I just wanna bronze it up. I just wanna, I don't know. I just wanna be extra today. Something is just making me feel like I wanna be super, super bronzed. It's probably because my whole face looks like a flat yellow pancake. So I wanna create a little bit more uh, depth in there. Concealer almost tried to play me y'all, but watch how I'm about to, watch how I'm about to fix it. Concealer tried to play me. Thought I was crazy out here. 
This concealer almost had me out here looking crazy. Not today, Satan. Not today. I'm gonna dust off the setting powder that I had on my under eyes. Make sure I get all that off. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes and complete this look because it's getting good. Things are getting sexy around here. Wow. I'm gonna take this black wet and wild pencil. This pencil literally cost me like two dollars. We're gonna go ahead and tight line. This doesn't have to be super neat because I'm gonna smudge it out anyway. Now I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna use the brown shade called 1988 and I'm gonna go right under the black. So now the star of the show is black eyeliner and I'm gonna do a very, very dramatic cat eye because we're feeling feisty, okay? I'm gonna start from the outer corner and I'm gonna work my way in. So from right here, and I'm gonna draw a straight line going upwards towards the tail of my brow. And then I'm gonna connect from the top of that line and bring it all the way down. And I wanna have my liner be very, very thick. So after I do the tail of my liner, I'll start working my way towards the inner corner of my eye. My wing looks good when I'm looking forward from this angle, but when I look straight on, you can see like a little dip right there. I wanna get rid of that, so I'm gonna bring the line up just a little bit right in that area. Now I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other eye. Now I'm gonna clean up this area right here so we can add a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna squeeze my, blend, my beauty blender really, really tight so I can try to get a nice straight line. Now it should look nice and clean on the ends. Y'all know the look is not complete without lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm adding my velour lashes, and this is in the style of worst behavior. I've worn these lashes so many times, guys. I've worn these lashes well over 20 times, and they're still hanging in there. I'm making sure I get my money's worth, because these lashes are expensive. For my lips, I'm gonna start off with the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Chocolate Wasted. So Dose of Colors, I think, is probably like my second favorite liquid lipstick formula outside of the Fenty one, because this one wears really, really nice throughout the day as well.
And now I'm gonna take the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Confused, and I'm gonna use this in the center just to brighten it up just a little bit and add a little more warmth. But I still want it to be a little lighter in the center. It's not, it's not giving me the lightness that I want. I'm gonna add the shade Ashton in the center as well. To add gloss or not to add gloss. I'm gonna add a little bit of NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Now I want my lips to be glossy. That is a cute lip combo. Love it. This completes the look for today, guys. I think this look is super cute to go out, you know, at night. This is more of a nighttime look, even though you know me, I wear this during the day because I can but this should be like a really really simple look for you guys to do I literally used what three eyeshadows and some black winged eyeliner and some lashes brown lip and then you're just you're popping I hope you guys like this quick tutorial I have seen that some of you guys want me to start doing more eyeshadow looks so I'm definitely gonna be working on that for you guys if you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bell because you your girls on an upload roll right now and you don't want to miss out you don't wanna miss this. And you guys can also find me on Instagram, okay? And my Instagram is Breeze Louise. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.